this is Chrissy from Midwest Birth and I'm going to be showing you how to make pad sickles or postpartum pads for after you deliver your baby. To make your postpartum pads, you need a pad. This is the flex foam that I'm using, but you can use thicker ones, use the ones that the hospital gives you or um, any kind that you have on hand. This is just what I have on hand now. I usually use the thicker ones when I'm making postpartum pads. You're also going to need a spoon, lavender essential oils, 100% pure witch hazel, and aloe vera gel. So I'm going to start on opening this pad. We're going to lay it completely flat and peel off the paper with the wings. And very carefully lift the wings so that they don't stick to the outside paper. Then you're going to want to take your witch hazel and soak the pad. Next, you're going to use three to four drops of the lavender essential oil. And then you're going to use a spoonful of the aloe vera gel. And then you're going to spread it around the length of the pad. Now I'm going to carefully put the pad back in place, so, and then I'm going to fold it. I'm going to take a sheet of tin foil and flip the pad over. the pad in the tin foil. And once you have it like this, you just stick it in the freezer. You can either stick it in with a plastic bag or in a little tray and then you take them out when you need them. These are great gifts for your friends, your family, for yourself if you are going to have a baby. They're also good for your clients if you're a birth worker like I am. love making these for my clients and giving them out as gifts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to make a postpartum pad. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comments and I'll sure to make more helpful videos like this in the future.